Hi guys, it's uh, Monster Cameron here, and um, today uh, I'm testing a PC BSD9. I'm just gonna have a quick uh, overview on my little um, Acer Aspire 1 522 netbook. Um, so one of the reasons I'm really testing it is because um, Zlas is gonna be testing it um, this weekend, uh, the Linux Action Show. So I wanted to test it to see what the hoopla was about. Um, so right off the bat, if you can see, uh, we're running uh, GNOME 2, and let's see, let's see if I can find which version. I might have to dig through the system settings. All right, about GNOME. There we go. And we're running 2.3.2.1. So that's an old build. That's from last year. That's from uh, last December. So. They're definitely running some old stuff. Um, is it more stable than the newer stuff? Maybe. Um, so a quick run through of the old system menu. You have your accessories. Some of the stuff seems familiar to what you'd find in, uh, in say, uh, Ubuntu. We have a calculator, your terminals, uh, graphics, image viewer. I think that's a, a GNOME default app. Uh, Ristretto, I've never seen that one before. For internet, we have uh, Epiphany and uh, Midori. Let me jump, just start Epiphany. It might be an older version of Epiphany as well. Uh, KDE. I might have to update. I haven't actually updated it yet. QD, QT uh, Designer, Browser Row, and Sound Recorder. I think most of those are, are GNOME defaults and system. Oh, it comes with Flash Player. Okay, that's, uh, that's good. Reminds me of um, Sabion that way. Uh, PCBSD control panel. Let's launch that as well. So I could not get my wireless drivers working out of the box. I'm going to have to tinker with that. So right now, um, I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit bright. Oops. That's a little bit too bright. So let, me, let me adjust that on the video. So... Alright. Alright, so here it is back the video. Let's get some focus for you guys. There we go. Uh couldn't get the wireless drivers working, so maybe I I gotta tinker with it a little bit more. Um okay, so here's some stuff. Uh App Cafe, never heard of that. Let me launch that as well. Why not? Uh Ports Jail, Service Tree, K those are maybe KD stuff, K Info Center. Um, Adobe. Um, so I'm going to let's close this for now. And uh, what is that update manager? I saw. Um, hmm. Network. No, I already checked that. What am I doing? Um, I saw an update manager somewhere. Now, let's, this is a you know first uh, first impressions unboxing, uh, if you will. Um, crap! Where did I lose it? Let's go to system settings again, and see if there's the updates there. So I can see there are like new packages in there, the repos and all that nonsensical stuff. Alright, so here we go. This looks like the standard GNOME uh, system settings. So, uh, work coming, appearances, uh, network connectivity, uh, workspaces. Doesn't seem to be anything about updates. And this is this pretty much sums up what I've been facing doing this uh, BSD, checking out BSD. Um, I haven't been able to figure out what's what. Uh, I can't get wireless working out of the box, which should be a th that problem shouldn't exist nowadays because I think that's that's pretty much solved. Let's do s App Cafe. It keeps crashing. That's not good, is it? Uh, open Point Jail Console. Um, I don't think this is an app system, is it? Uh, let's or let me go online to see what kind of uh, update system I can do with the command line. So, uh, PC. Oops. 
Excuse me. It's a little bit difficult doing this with the camera in front. Let's move it to the side. PC, um, BSD 9, up 8, over. Yeah, this is another system I don't really care for, to learn, to be honest. Um, I think I just might leave the update as that. Um, I don't know, really, this isn't. Let me check, let me even check um, Midori and see what version this is. 2.3.0.6 uh, that's an older version too at least let me run Sun Spider and see what kind of uh, JavaScript performance this gets although this is an older version I really don't understand why did, why did I have such an old distro is it for stability or compatibility or they just don't want to upgrade to the the new GNOME 3 clutter uh, mother hotness what it, well, I don't get it I really don't get it um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna tinker with it a little bit more before I uh, throw it away but uh, I haven't installed it on a hard disk. It's a live CD. Uh, I haven't installed it, so I don't know if I'll be able to update it. Um, so I'm just feeling underwhelmed, really, by it. Um, by the way, how Chris was, you know, explaining how it be, and how excited Matt's usually about BSC. I thought it'd be some super stable super fast um uh, uh distro you know with a bsc kernel but i guess not and although this is an older um uh, older browser that's a pretty bad sun spider score it's 300 milliseconds over what i got in sabayan although that's throwing the newest everything fastest kernel whatever um, maybe I have too many biases going in maybe I'm not objective enough in uh, in really checking it out and checking all the uh, the features it has um, maybe I don't know maybe it's just um, maybe it's just not for me um, but um, don't take my word for it um, you know, don't fully take my word for it. Yeah, you can use it as like um, as an overview, but um, I'll say try it yourself. You know, you, there might be something you like about it, but um, it's not very impressive at all. Chris, back to you.